Hello and welcome to Anton's TV. My name is Jack and today I'm here with the lovely... Andy. Oh, my man, thank you so much. Yeah. And we're, start, we're going off on a voyage. We're starting a new series called Synth Tips. Mm. And uh, we'll see how it goes down. First thing, I want to ask you the question, mm. what is an oscillator? Well, yeah, so we're going to look at a few different things. Um, and yeah, we'll start with oscillators because it's a really good place to start. And the kind of the idea of this is like, you know, you might have got your first synth and you look mm -hmm. at all these controls. It's really scary and you don't really know what, what they're doing. So we thought we'd break it down in a few sort of simple things. So yeah, let's look at some oscillators first. So an oscillator is basically uh, the basic building block of a synth patch. So it's the initial sound and then we can do things to that. We can filter it. We can add envelopes and things to make it into something. But the oscillator is what you start with. So there's a few different types. So we've just got on this synth in front of us, which is the Roland System 8. Um, we've just got one oscillator turned up at the moment, so this one over here. And uh, we've got a few different sounds. So the first one that's on is a saw wave. So I think... Nice, gives you a nice little kind of bright sort of tone. If I switch it over to a square wave, you've got... Nice, so it's a little uh, a bit more rounded, that one. And then we've got a triangle wave. Which is really kind of like a bit darker, that one. Mm -hmm. But these are like kind of the basic building blocks of synth sounds. Uh, and we have um, a color control underneath that we can use to sort of like uh, sweep through, through sweep through the sound of the waveform to define it a little bit. So if you play something on this saw wave, and I'll tweak this. So we can, we can find a little place in there to sort of make the sound a little bit more that we want. But then you can also get some like a more specialized oscillator. So we've got one here which is called a, a super saw. So a super saw is like it's seven saw waves stacked together. And then using the color control, we can detune the middle three of them to make it really, really big, sort of nice. trancey kind of sounds. So if you play some chords, and then I'll, and I'll change the color control. Yeah, right? yeah. Sounds really good straight away. That's a bit of a Roland speciality, isn't it? it a super is. saw. Yeah. yeah, it is a little bit. Yeah, it first came out in the uh, Roland JP8000, sort of back in the 90s, actually, which oh, is a really I cool thing. Yeah. yeah, it's really, really good. Cool. And then, like, the other cool thing is that we can sort of combine different types of oscillators together. So let's make, like, a bit of a bass sound here. So if I put this one to be on a square wave, and next to it, we have a control that does uh, the octave. Now, you can see it's labeled 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, and 2. I'm like, what's that got to do with octaves? Uh, it's because old church organs, uh, if they wanted to produce a sound at a certain frequency, they mm -hmm. had to have a 16-foot pipe. And then yeah, and yeah. an octave below was like a 32-foot pipe. Mm -hmm. So even though we've moved on technologically from there, yeah. they still have that on. <laughs> and well. I find it's a parallel with Hammond organ as well, because yeah, yeah, yeah. they're labelled in footages. Yeah, and I think of the drawbars as oscillators on Hammonds as well, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like just pulling out the different footages. Anyway, let's hear what they... These feet sound like so. Uh, so if you're on 64, which is really low, and then we go to 32. And we go to 16, and we're just going up through octaves then. So for this one, let's put this one on 32 because this is going to be the the low end of our bass. Yeah. Arm. And then I'll bring up oscillator two. Nice, so now that one's just running on a saw wave and yep. it's running on 16 feet. Cool, so that's kind of like a nice little basic sound. So like to begin programming any synth, that's what you need to do really, is you need to get your oscillators sort of working together. Um, we also have things like a, you can add a sub oscillator on this one, so you can add a, um, a sine wave, uh, sort of an octave below. But then you can also have things like uh, white noise as well, which is just... Uh... In the white noise! So we can make some really interesting sounds with those, but it comes into its own when we start messing around with some of the other controls. So, yeah, first things first, when you've got your synth, find the oscillator section, mm -hmm. 
find a flick through, listen to the different sounds, right? Yeah. And then experiment with combining them. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so we've also got one with uh, coarse tune and fine tune. So when you have two oscillators running at the same time, so we've got two here, if we uh, if uh, we detune one of them slightly, because at the moment they're working at the same frequency, so it's just stacked on top of each other. Yeah. But if you play a note and I detune the bottom one slightly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it sounds a bit fatter. So if you hold a note down, I go back to the center. It's a bit flat. Get a bit more oh, kind of weight to it. Nice, which is cool. And then, uh, yeah, with course tune, we can do things. So say if we've got both our oscillators at 16 feet. Sorry. Yeah. You're the playing guy, what am I doing? This is all Jump I've got to do, in. man. I know. <laughs> and Don't then, steal my thunder. <laughs> and if we course tune this other one, so yeah. I could go up, say, like a fifth. And then we'll fine tune that oh. a little bit as well. Nice. So that's just like a really simple way of just with a little bit of tuning, mm. uh, stacking the oscillators and get Different some Different sound, bunting. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And then where are we going to go next? So next thing we're going to go to the filter, so we can show you how you can like filter some of those sounds to make like a, a cool bass pattern. Nice! Sound. I'm going to play you out. Check out the other video. So I don't know, I'm looking at the wrong camera. <laughs> First one, and we'll go to Filter Town. High five. No way. Hit this. <laughs>